Hello children, I am Anjali, your EVS teacher from Mangala Vidya Mandira. And children, today we are going to start our first lesson's second part because we have already started the first lesson in last video only, isn't it? So we have started characteristics of living beings. So in that we have finished four points. Living beings are made up of cells, living beings respire, living beings eat food, living beings grow. So now we are going to start from the fifth point. Living beings move, living beings excrete, living beings reproduce, living beings respond to stimulus, living beings have lifespan. Okay, let us start our fifth point. Living beings move. So children, here animals move from one place to another place. They need some uh, uh, organs for that. Even they have special organs for this. In the example, you can see that snake is crawling. It's moving, but we can say a snake will crawl. Why? Because the snake don't have legs. Isn't it? Yes. With the help of muscles and scales, it will crawl. Like man, human being can walk on his leg. Human beings walk on their legs. In the case of birds or bats, they will fly with the help of wings. In the case of kangaroo, it will hop children with the help of two legs. And one more example is frog. If this type of animals will hop, hopping animals we can say. So the children, living beings move with the help of special organs. So in the case of plants children, Plants do not have organs for the movement as in animals. But then also we can observe some uh, movements in the plants. Isn't it? Yes. As soil holds roots of plants, they cannot move from one place to another. Still we can observe the following movements in plants. What are those roots growing towards water in the soil? Sunflower plant turning towards the sun so here in the first picture you can observe these are the roots of the plants it grows towards the water in the soil so it's growing towards the water in the soil so in the second picture you can observe this sunflower plant turning towards the sun isn't it yes so by these movements we can uh, observe the uh, movements or living being, beings uh, uh, move in the case of plants we can observe by these points okay so living beings move so our next point is living beings excrete living beings excrete so children living beings excrete means um, for example in our houses what we'll do usually if any wanted things or needed things, useful things are there, means we will keep it safely in our houses. Isn't it? If any unwanted things are there, means what we will do? We will throw outside. Or else, if we will not throw unwanted things outside, means we'll, uh, our house will be dirty. Isn't it? As like, same thing, many activities take place in the body of organisms. As a result, Things which are unwanted for the body are also generated. These have to be thrown out of the body. If not thrown, body gets affected. Isn't it? Yes. In the case of animals, throw out unwanted things of the body in the form of carbon dioxide, sweat, feces and urine. They have special organs for this purpose. And in the case of plants, Plants also give out carbon dioxide during respiration, dry leaf, stem, rotting parts, all these separate from the plants. They release excess water to the atmosphere through leaves. In some season we can observe plants also uh, leave uh, water, rotting parts and uh, they will shed their leaves and all. Isn't it? Yes. So in the first picture we can see this boy is getting sweat. Isn't it? It means this boy uh, in his body uh, through this sweating unwanted things is coming out. So in the second picture we can see in the tree 
in the second picture the tree is giving oxygen and taking carbon dioxide and this boy also giving carbon dioxide and taking oxygen isn't it and uh, in the third picture also that cow is uh, giving or leaving unwanted things uh, unwanted thing from its body isn't it yes so the living beings excrete so next point living beings reproduce living beings reproduce means what children the young ones of each organism resemble that respective organism which gave birth to them so what is uh, reproduction the process of an organism giving birth to young ones which is resemble it is called reproduction so in the picture you can observe children human being uh, and the cow dogs are giving birth to young one it resembles to uh, birth it resembles to them only isn't it but in the case of hen what will happen first it lays egg after few days it hatches the egg and chicks will come out and duck and lion also we can see the babies isn't it so living beings reproduce next is how the reproduction process will happens in the plant we can see in the life cycle of plant seeds is an important part of reproduction in plants seeds developing from seeds is one of the wonders of nature some plants apart from seeds produce new plants through stem buds so in the life cycle of plant here it is the picture of life cycle of plant here we can see this is the uh, stem and these are the seeds once we plant the seeds then it will become a young plant isn't it then it will become mature plant after this mature plant this mature plant will uh, produce flower flower and this flower becomes fruit again in fruit we will get seeds again we can plant the seed again we will get a young plant uh, again mature plant flower fruit this is the life cycle of plant children isn't it seed or stem and it will become young plant mature plant it produces flower and uh, flower become a fruit again we can get the seeds okay so this is the life cycle of plant so the next is living beings respond to stimulus what is this organisms respond in their own way living beings respond to the changes in their surrounding environment usually they respond to touch heat cold sound and smell they have special organs for these so in the first picture we can observe if we touch the hot bowl uh, suddenly we will take our hand or else we will remove our hand from the uh, that uh, hot bowl isn't it so it means we will respond to heat will respond to stimulus so in the second picture here this dog is sitting quietly but here see here this dog when it see that meat uh, the dog mouth started watering yes no so it means dog or animals respond to stimulus in the third picture so this is the touch me not plant if we touch or any insects uh, touches it it fold their uh, leaves it leaves it uh, the leaves will be uh, folding you can observe in the picture so it means even plants also respond to stimulus so living beings respond to stimulus so the next point living beings have life span organisms take birth become adults reproduce become old and die at last isn't it children yes so living beings have life span so what is that life span the period between birth and death of an organism is called life span 
so for example here some animals and average life life span is there uh, first one is turtle so this turtle can live up to 150 years and elephant can live up to 70 years cow 20 years eagle 20 years man means human beings can live up to 70 to 80 years on average so living beings have life span so next point based on the life span plants are classified into three so we have learnt uh, we came to know human beings and animals life span now based on life span plants are classified into three so those are annuals biennials perennials plants which bear flower produce fruits and die in a year or season that plants are called annuals for example jowar wheat paddy pumpkin vegetable cotton in the below picture you can see jowar and cotton picture uh, plants next one is biennials plants which live up to 2 years or 2 seasons produce flower fruit and seeds and die those are called biennials for example carrot ginger cabbage sugarcane beetroot below the picture you can see carrot and sugarcane picture third one is perennials plants which live for many years and keep producing flower fruit and seeds those are called perennials in the case of annual only one year biennial two seasons or two years perennials many years perennials example mango tree lemon neem coconut jackfruit and areca nut etc areca nut means this is also type of the betel nut children and this is second picture is uh, jackfruit so based on life span plants are classified into three annuals biennials perennials so the next point plants are classified into two what are those monocotyledons dicotyledons so what do you mean by monocotyledons monocotyledons seeds has only one cotyledon it means only one leaf will sprout at during germination in monocotyledons uh, only one leaf will sprout at during germination for example jowar ragi wheat paddy millets etc in the dicotyledons di means two so dicotyledons what do you mean by dicotyledons dicotyledon seeds have has two cotyledons it means two leaves will sprout at during germination so here we can see germination also and two leaves also for example groundnut horse gram groundnut red gram bengal gram etc in the case of monocotyledon only one leaf germination we can or one leaf sprout we can see here so these are monocotyledons and dicotyledons so the next point is importance of animals so animals are very important uh, for us isn't it children in our environment yes because animals play an important role in maintaining the environment if animals are destroyed it affects other organisms as there will be scarcity of food for example uh, if the if all the fishes ends all the fishes if we eat means other animals uh, who will be living in the water like a shark octopus uh, some animals are there no water animals what they will eat even they will not get the uh, fish uh, as a fish as a food isn't it yes so in the recent years government has taken measures to protect animals through national forest wildlife sanctuaries bird sanctuaries and reserved forest and hunting is banned isn't it so animals are very important to our environment play an important role in the maintaining environment so children i hope you understood all the points of characteristics of living beings 
isn't it so you have to read the lesson once uh, then you will understood completely okay you have to read the lesson once so now the time for homework so children here uh, in the first question one activity is there on human respiration we have learned that living beings respire these are two lungs these are two lungs like uh, see here these are two lungs here also we can show these are two lungs during respiration living beings take in air use the oxygen and give out carbon dioxide yes no we have learnt already so this is the one of the characteristics of living beings isn't it yes so even you have to do this activity do any one in these uh, four do any one okay this is one example and this one this one so you can do any one in this and you have to uh, post it in the group and you have to explain like this only we have learned that living beings respire these are two lungs during respiration living beings take in air use the oxygen and give out carbon dioxide okay you can make any one uh, you can post it in the group children and second one is write a short note on environment so these point uh, these points must you should include what is environment living uh, beings non living things and the characteristics of living things you have to write a short note up to only one page one page is enough okay children thank you